What the lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy the Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2, and today we're playing through episode 4. So, episode 3, yeesh, that was quite an episode, quite an ending, quite an explosive ending. So, it's got me very excited to see what's going on now in this episode with our boys, Sean and Daniel. And of course, our new comrades in arms, to an extent, we have... Oh my god, I, I've forgotten their names. I've forgotten their names. The two hippie people we're friends with now. Or the group of hippie people. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I played this, okay? So you have to forgive me. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing, too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother loved having a new pack to prowl around with. He felt free for the first time. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Okay, so that intro changes each and every time with each new episode we played through. Okay, that's cool. Uh, definitely a big um, change over Life is Strange 1. The, the intro is it anyway. Very intuitive. I, I like it. Oh yeah, and I've got it. As Sean, we got her eye injured in the last episode. There was a piece of glass or shrapnel in it. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect us gameplay-wise. And... Wait, this is the forest we were at near the start of the game in episode 1. Oh, okay, here we are. With our hair cut. Oh, come on, I like long hair, Sean. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. Oh, no way. This is what happened before. It's all good. Okay, okay, so it's a bit of a prelude. I wish we didn't go along with Finn, even though I wanted to. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So... Wait. Why don't you come and get me? 
Oh, I know what this is. It's a bit of a dream sequence. I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. Don't jump off the side of the edge. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. Don't do it, Daniel. Uh, stop! Oh, yeah, it was a dream sequence. Okay, we're in hospital now. And I guess we're one eye less now. Oh, we, we, we've got a shaved head. Lovely. Fuck. Daniel, I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Agent Flores' card. Well, we've been caught by the feds. The jig is up. Yeah, thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. So U.S. Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Maria Elena Flores, Special Agent, Seattle Division, Call any time, day or night, if you want to talk. From the SAF. No, I'd rather not do that. Ooh, we have a, a bit of a bouncing ball. Pretty stress. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Aww. So that eye is pretty much gone. Ugh, and hospital food. Ooh. This must be my punishment. Well, at least we got a TV. Yay. Stupid reality shows. What? Reality shows are good. Do you not watch Catching Up with the Kardashians? Ka Kardashians? Kardashians? Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Okay, let's read what we have going on here. Let's read our innermost thoughts. So, date March 26th. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked. Plus, in police custody. Going to jail soon. Oh, Jesus. Hospitals freak me out. I hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. March 30th, 2017. I tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage. But I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Then April 3rd, 2017. Special Secret Agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion. So he's out there. Alone? April... 11, 2017. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are. I don't know. April 15, 2017. Claire and Stephen sent me a nice letter. So lonely, I read it twice. Weird how I missed them. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joy sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Wait, who's Joy? See, one of the... Guys we met at the weed farm. April 25th, 2017. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Ah. So he's probably off with Finn. Doing God knows what. Okay, we just do a little bit of drawing here. Just a little bit of drawing. On. I mean, the only way to get better is through practice. Say it's not looking too so bad. Hard to focus. 
Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. That's the spirit. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Capture the details. Say, getting way better, my dude. Draw prison bars or draw a staircase. Hmm. I'm gonna go with prison bars because we are basically locked up now. We're under arrest or house arrest because we've been caught by the feds, unfortunately. This room feels like a prison. But I'd rather stay here than go to Jolina Shore. Oh, what is Jolina Shore where when Jolina Shore is at home? Okay, I guess it's time to call Joey and see who the hell he is. I've never met this person in my life. Joey. Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Oh, he's one of he or she is one of the nurses. Oh. Alright then. Anything else here? Oh, we have a letter from Cassidy. Cassidy and Finn, yes, those are the two. I'm glad that the we cops left behind. Didn't mess with them too. I really hope they could keep going. Hola, Sean. The cops and doctors won't tell me anything about what's going on with you and Finn, except that you were injured and in police custody. That's why I got the hospital name. They interviewed, interrogated me, Hannah and Penny, and let's go. Both of you weren't so lucky, I guess. Or maybe you earned it. I hope you're okay after what happened. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug dealers rather than us poor gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation and I hope you'll get some form of justice. I hope you and Daniel find your way home soon. Peace, Cassidy. Aw, thanks Cass. And that was the uh, little doodle she drew on us. The lone wolf. Oh, more letters. Glad Stephen's leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Sean, we are grateful to find out that you are safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital. But we want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say that you woke up in that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know that this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember, you're a family and we love you. We hope to visit you in Jolena Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Stephen. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. Oh. So glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Okay, this letter from little Chris. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you're okay. I'm fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks, but summer is here and I can play again. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I'll be waiting for you, Chris and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. Ah. Yo, afternoon checkup. Sure. Oh, there's Joey boy. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. 
Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before what? Before they... Take it out? Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Oh. I yeah. thought they were removing <clears throat> my eye. Okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. A lot easier said than done. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now. Try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Yeah, so what that was a bit. Good. Keep going. Straining too hard? Headache? <sighs> nah. I just can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Okay, move your pen with L and press A to see if it's aligned with Joey. Oh, this is about depth perception, right? Oh. Hey, good oh, job. nice. Okay. Let's do it again. We moved it to a, li a little to the left. Damn, <laughs> you hit a double today. Moved it back a small bit. He, he didn't. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you got to try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Ah, damn it. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here. Yeah, that's gonna suck. This. Patient cleared. You know what, fuck it, I'll say. I'm a pirate. Yar. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> I had to do the pirate thing because it was a throwback to, to Life is Strange you. 1. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. whoop they do That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first... Let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> you ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Ah, Agent Flores, I assume. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just. No, I'm come the doc. Back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Okay, peace out. Stay cool. Boy, I'm always cool and you know it. You're fucking fabulous. Alright, which, what do you want? So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to... Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. 
Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. Boy, they've murdered my dad. Are you fucking nuts? Well, I can't say innocent until proven guilty because they already have me fucking pegged dead to rights, apparently. So I'll just keep telling them, I didn't kill nobody. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Our dad was the one who was killed. Jesus Christ, this is yeah. pissing me off. He came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Yeah, that's the only one you're going to get. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Technically, it was both our ideas, but you know what? I... I it's hard technically it was Finn's idea but I don't want to be a rat either uh, I'll just say we all did we all did Meryl totally ripped us off not a good guy that's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers <sighs> well it's true we did have no choice I had a fucking choice that's the only job I could get why didn't you try to get help Go to the police. Oh, yeah. The police would help me. After they shot my dad and accused us of murder. Great plan. So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl, too. Your friend is learning the hard way. Ah, uh, okay. We'll keep on straight and narrow. I learned to... Lost my eye, my brother, everything. Thank you for your statement, Sean. It's really helping. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. To Juvie? It might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, and what are on. those leads? I gotta take this call. Is that lead on Daniel? Oh, yeah, I don't mind. Here it is. Okay, so I assume we're gonna bust out of here at some point. Hi. Is he back in jail now? Me too. Yeah. Fine? Fuck you yeah, too, big joke. Ah, uh, big joke, funny man. No, honey. I told you so his name is Joseph time. Costello Jr. You gotta be good. good. He deserves to be behind bars. At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it blew up. Wait, her name is Lucy Rose Jones? Where did she get the name Cassidy from? Is that like her drifter name or something? Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. No, I forgot. 
Mi abuelo está la vacuna. Sorry, Hannah. No. <sighs> she lost her family for this. Está todo el día con la playa. Pero no quiero que se Ben, she's been this really fucked up. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Ah, oh, and Dexter would fuck him up. Yeah, because he's uh, gay. He used to think he's gay. It's not Sorry, that there's anything wrong with that. There's not, nothing wrong with being gay. Okay. So what's going on with Danny? We really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. Wait, for how long, though? For That's what we want long? to know. It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him, too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up, too, right? Whatever. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Oh, I'll be long gone by then. You think I'm going to sit here? Like, I'm not going to sit here all day and wait for you. I'm like, like a freaking lamb for slaughter. No way. You know, I'm just going to find a way to bust out of here or sneak out. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. What show is that? So, how did your interview with Scully go? Ah, oh, you mean the interrogation? Mm, not you mean so interrogation? well. Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Oh, well, thanks. I am. I don't know why I would say I'm not. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now, let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Wait, is my really, eye I'm completely no gone? This, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Oh, wait, 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 so I'm getting a glass eye, so I've completely lost my eye. Well, oh, shoot, but that fucking I sucks. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know, I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now, as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Oh, no, I wouldn't like doing that. Because when I was younger, before I got glasses, I, I used to get these drops in my eye every so often. I Cope fucking the hated it. Using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> okay, mouse and keyboard it is. It's going to be pretty difficult. But on the plus side, I get to put my new keyboard to use. I got a mechanical keyboard. <laughs> I treated myself. Clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you got to do this. Four times a day. For the rest of my it. life. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. 
I'm glad when I can make a change. Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. Yeah, what and duty you know, break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Oh, let me guess. He's helped me break out. <sighs> Joey. You are her boss. Okay, you'll have to forgive me if my keyboard and mouse control isn't, you know, good. Because I'm used to playing these games with just the mouse and keyboard. Or, I'm not used to playing these games with mouse and keyboard. Whoops. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, wait, that's my journal. Sweet. Can't catch shit. Okay, that hasn't changed. <sighs> Perception. Goodbye, sports. Okay, sketchy book. Let's take a quick look at this. <sighs> I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. Oh, Sunday gave me Sunday. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Probably the forest. Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Stephen... They would have definitely told me. Or maybe not. Or the cops. Come on, I trust my G-Ma and g now. They didn't rat us out. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? <sighs> He's safe? I could see him again. <sighs> Wait, okay, who's Jacob? Wait, how do I read this? Ah, there we go. Okay, 23rd of February, 2017. Had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. Plus, we gotta hide. It's not easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. I'm trying to think who he is. I mean, the name sounds familiar, but of those people I met in the camp, their names have just gone poof. Just completely out of my head. I can't believe I forgot about Cassidy and Finn as well. They're not that forgetful, but like I said, I haven't been uh, uploading or playing this game in ages, or at least a week. Two weeks, I should say. Cassidy the, the who? Cassidy the Volatile versus Hannah the Wise, is that it? Oh, go back, go back, back. Cassidy the Wild versus Hannah the Wise, oh. Okay. And Asian, Agent 420, give me hot dogs. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Oh, this is the sketch we drew. Nice. I think I missed a good portion of dialogue back here. Eh, oh, well. Okay, I think we're about done, are we? No, how, how do I get out of this? Haven Point. Oh. Nevada. Oh, is this Jacob? Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Met the new workers from Europe, Anders and Ingrid. 
are Ingrid. Cute couple, makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He's lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here. Oh, I know who Jacob is now, and that's Ingrid and Anders. Oh, that couple. I gotta get to him. We gotta bust out of here. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. What happened? What did I do? Wait, is my controller working good now? Nope. I'd have to exit the game to get it to work again. Uh, it's gonna be so awkward. But again, I love my new mechanical uh, keyboard. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. We'll find a way to get the hell out of here. Oh, lag. Oops. Okay. I Got should thing. close these. So nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Okay, Jake. Can I have some privacy, please? Okay, so the evacuation plan. Maybe this might come in handy. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. Alright, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, Joey's pen. Can I take this with me? Joey's the only one who helped me get <coughs> through this shit. I guess not. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. Okay, but he probably won't let us. Oh, I can take it. Thank you. And memento from him. And an achievement. Uh, need a superhero to open that shit. Or you can just bust it open. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. Then I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. Anything else? Ooh, scaffolding. I yeah, can climb down the side of the building. Or die trying. Well, I don't think you'd die from this this height. I mean, sure you'd you'd fuck yourself up pretty bad, but I don't think you'd die unless you landed on your head. I can't more. open that window with my bare hands. Isn't there a little something, something that's stopping it? We got business in there. Patient call. Just got to see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. Hey, that's your job. Go for it. Hey, hey Big Joe. There's my second favorite patient. <laughs> gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, mm. you that look good stressed. Cash money. You feeling okay? Uh, should I tell him? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'll tell him. He... he He's a cool guy. He wouldn't rat me out. Yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. Now that's good news. Nevada sucks, but at least the kid is safe. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. 
I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? You know, we gotta plead for innocence. Come on. But I'm innocent. You know I am. You even told me. I said you're a good kid. But it doesn't matter what I think about you. I'm not the police. You really want me to help you break out of here? Oh, yes, please. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. Well, dude, there's no future for me if I'm in jail. Well, I don't have a future. Or a girlfriend. Or a rent to pay. I'm just... fucked. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean, I wish I could help you. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look, it's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really got to get back to my shift. I'm tired already. Aww. He does have a point. Okay, looks like we're doing this breakout thing solo. You have a good night. Boy, me too, I've been in one. They creep me the fuck out. I wish I could just... walk out. Oh, construction room. I'm... pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. And the staff room. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Close this again for privacy. At least now we've gotten out, I think. But somehow I don't think this would hold our weight, would it? No, not a, not a Too chance. Too bad this isn't a movie. Oh, can't even fit. Wait, look under the bed. What would be under the bed that could help? Nada. Bin? Drawer? Oh, bed sheets. These could help. They could help me shimmy down there. Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Right, that does that. So let's inspect this one last time. Oh, no, it's, a, it's the same thing. Am I missing something else here? I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Strangle him with the blankets? I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Yeah, but how would we go about doing that? That's the thing. We need a proper game plan. And is there any night here? Thank God. Okay, check I. Yeah, looking good. Ah. 
Oh, yeah, that's nasty. Oh, grapper. Wait, this one isn't screwed in. Let's do it. Hey, come on. Hey, what the hell are you doing in there? Nothing, just exercising. Exercise my right to knock it a fuck out. <sighs> nice job, Sean. Now the guard is awake and pissed off. Okay, let's switch this off. And now let's see if we can trick him to come in. Okay, is there an option there for it? And I could... No. Trick him into coming in here and then... Knock him out? No, not gonna happen. So what I'm assuming I have to do is pry open the window. Or break the safety lock. Yeah, same thing. Do it quietly. Quietly, Sean. Quietly. Nice. Yeah, and I was right about those blankets. I'm going to fashion those into like a rope and then just shimmy across here. This is crazy, dude. Don't freak out. Well, crazy is your middle name. Get out. Sean Crazy Diaz. Okay, keep going. You can do it, my dude. Oh, God, I hate this. I hate heights. I really do. I would not be able Don't to... think. Just... Keep going. Yeah, well, you're almost Holy there. Shit. Ooh, 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 <sighs> Jesus. Take a breath, dude. Oh, holy shit. I don't have a fear of heights myself, but they just make me uncomfortable. Almost here. Nice. Way too close. <sighs> Time to get my shit from the staff room. But how do I go about doing that? I mean, the security guard's right outside that door. But he's asleep. Wait, mustache. Okay. Guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. Oh, 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 he's, 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 what's his name from Life is Strange 1, I think. Is he? He's, uh, he's Chloe's stepdad. I can't think of his name. Or at least he bears a striking resemblance to him. Go on, take some drugs. Take all the drugs you can get, my dude. Okay, bye now. It just got me thinking. Imagine how cool it would be if we actually met Chloe or... Uh, what's your name that's, from Life is Strange 1? That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? Should I wake him up and have him escape with me? Yeah, sure, why not? Finn. Finn. Hey, over here. Holy fucking shit. No way. Sean. What the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to bail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could have hooked up. Shit. 
So, where's Daniel? Uh, but we won't tell him, just in case he fucks everything up. I can't tell you, Finn, but I'm going to get him back. Good. Don't blame you for not trusting me anymore. My fault you're in here. Yeah. We won't leave him hanging too bad. No, Finn. It's my bad. I put myself here, too. If I can go back. So, how bad is it? Your eye. Let's say... It's gone. I still got one left. John. <laughs> I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. About everything. Uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. I'll just... have to make things right for Cliff now. You're the man, Sean. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you. Wait, aren't you gonna with me? And respect. Always. I gotta go now. Take care of him. You're gonna find him, Sean. I trust you. So you should trust yourself, too. Almost robbing a car or a jeep. I'm just on my phone for a second. I just want to find out Chloe's dad's name again because it's just really bugging me. Her stepdad's name. We did it. Nice. David Madison. That's his, his name. Or medicine. And of course, there's new mi no music. I mean, I could turn it back on, but I'd end up getting copyright striked or have the video claimed. Not that it makes much of a difference, but I want to see if it does increase viewership. Because one thing I'm sick of doing is playing to YouTube's BS algorithm, uh, algorithmic views or algorithmic rules. Because trying to make my content as genuine as possible. Because sure, anybody can spam out latest AAA title and call it a day. But no, that's not what YouTube is about. I mean, I think it's kind of like a sad grift if you have to do that. I mean, look, it's not a sad grift, but let's say if you have to use underhanded methods to try and grow, that is a bit of a grift. Sorry for the bit of a rant there, but it's true. Like, I see quite a few people doing it. MK, Ice and Fire, uh, who else? Who's the other one? Shirako. They get games almost days ahead of even the most popular of content creators because sometimes they'll find a retailer that'll sell them the games early and then they'll have that bit of a buffer between the time to get the game and the time it's released. 
so they'll have enough time to prep at least three or four or five videos of the latest AAA titles and get it up there or get them up there on day one. And I don't agree with that method one bit. I mean, sure, people can argue they're following the embargo. Oh, never mind. Life is Strange 2, Episode 4, Faith. Nice intro. Be nicer if I could have the music. Should I turn on the music? No, I, I, I'll, I'll leave it off. So, right, we're heading to Nevada. Ooh, Pacific time zone. Okay. Keep an eye on those watches. Wait, don't you have Google Maps? Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. We don't have a phone anymore. Speaking of which, I can't wait to get my new car. It's going to have built-in sat nav and everything. Not, <laughs> not that uh, I, I need it, but um, I think it's cool. The radio is the most exciting feature of, of my car. Because it's touchscreen. And it's going to have um, rear reversing cameras and everything. The whole shebang. Ooh, I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait till next month. Ah, okay, and here we are, just chilling in the desert, contemplating life. How did we get here? And, hey, smoking's bad for you. Look at all of you, you dirty smokers. Get your filthy smoke out of my lungs. Guess this is my room for the night. And what room it is? Look. Fuck. My eyes itchy. I should probably clean it before I doze off. Eh, yeah, good idea. Oh, so we have the owner's stuff. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. He drop off kids, hospital checkup, lunch with hubby, Miss Got X, Ray, blood test, pick up kids, and night shift. Oof. Yeah, you uh, definitely fucked up her night. And wires. <sighs> what a mess. <sighs> Pelotas can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. <laughs> Even though you already committed uh, committed Grand Theft Auto when you stole Big Joe's car. Or 4x4. Four four. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Oh, if you stole my car. Fucking steal my new car. You need the fucking world government to fucking protect you. Okay, and backpack. That's where my stuff is, right? Ah, oh, this would suck. Okay, so let's clean out our, our little googly eye. Or I should say, I suck it at this stage. Alright. Careful. Ugh. Oh, I couldn't imagine doing that to myself. I'd be way too squeamish. Man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. All right, and let's take a quick look at the map. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Okay. 
I... Oh, I thought I heard a cop car. Okay, well, time to get some sleep now. Jeez, how old is this car? I haven't seen headrests like that in a car since, like, the freaking early 2000s. Does this car even have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? Probably doesn't. But I think it's weird that some cars have Wi-Fi. Or that you can connect them to Wi-Fi. That is just too fucking creepy. My new car, she's got a Bluetooth. Nice radio, nice seats. Nice interior, nice everything. But no Wi-Fi. And I'm pretty happy with that. Besides, I'd already have the government track me on my phone anyway. Or Google. <laughs> Out of this century. Oh, the tape deck. Oh. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. Oh, another dream I'm sequence. Proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, man, this sucks. <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> well, there isn't much to talk about because we never got with her. Uh, well, not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. Uh, I kind of miss her. It's just, I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, you are hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. He's driving real slow and safe, like a grandma. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her <laughs> when you have time. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? Oh, man, this sucks. It's too big, but I miss you. Jesus. I miss you too, my son. And this is all part of growing up. Uh, not really, I no. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God, I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way. Hey, wake up. Uh-oh. Huh? What? Yeah, 
what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Wait. Oh. Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm leaving. Look. I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. I don't, don't trust you. Me, boy. Uh. You deaf? I said out. Okay, fine. Ugh. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Redneck. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. Hey, your land isn't fucking my land. You stole that land. I drove for so long. I I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. Hello, be chill, guys, be chill. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? An accident. I got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. <sighs> what? <gasps> Don't see that as awkward. I just want to go. Oh, -ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah. For my eyes. Oh yeah. Did you steal them? No. Like this car? Oh. I lost the keys. Well, I lost my keys and my friend helped me start it. You mean you hotwired it? Holy yes, cow. Exactly. Fucking car thief too. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it. Let's see what he's holding. Jeez, you're an asshole. So, nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. No, I'm taking it back. It's mine. How do I choose? Not let me choose. What the hell? Oh, 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 okay, right. Whoa, you Give me. did not. That's it, boy. Uh, my up. nose again? Jesus, what is with you people and uh. breaking my nose? Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? Oh, you're racist what? as well. What? What? Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Oh, no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely using this one. All I want to do is learn Espanol. Oh, no. Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So... One more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Oh, yes, fuck. Fuck off. This is my country. Hoo-hoo-wee, <laughs> did you hear that? Uh, look, Chad. Look, he's pissed off Tor, he's coming. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition 
and you're free. Oh hell no. We'll be very upset if you refuse. No, that ain't gonna happen. No. no. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! What the fuck, man? Oh, Jesus. Aren't you going to step in? Jesus. Holy cow. What are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now. <gasps> Just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man. Okay? Jesus. Fucking redneck racist assholes. Well, or asshole. The other guy, he had some sense, but his friend, Chad... Fuck! Fuck! <sighs> Chad ain't a Chad. A real Chad wouldn't do that. And we're out of gas. Christ of Almighty. If there's one thing I hate, if there's one thing I really fucking hate, it's racists. Hate them like there's no excuse for racism. So the... The Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Oh, so I guess we're hoofing it now, are we? Jeez, we are. We're out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Christ, it's gotta be hot as all blazes out there. Ooh, good lord, we're even more tanned than usual. God knows where the nearest town is. Okay. Okay. Stop mimicking me, Sean. All right. I don't appreciate it. Ooh, okay. So that was quite the intro. I probably say that in every episode because each episode shocks me more and more but this intro god damn the racism was so ugh. i mean an episode was it was it the first episode or was it the second one with the racist shop owner i mean it wasn't well it was terrible but geez at least he I was, I was going to say he wasn't violent, but I remember he punched us in the face as well. Jesus, what is it with, with people punching our good-looking boy, Sean, right in the face and right on the schnoz? God damn it, they've really got it in for me. Oh, no, but I hate it. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I mean, like, it's it's very on the nose. I mean, obviously, there's, like, racism in America. There's racism everywhere, but God damn it, really pisses me off. I mean, I've seen it where, where I work. I mean, not amongst them. Um, the people I work with but I've seen people be racist towards some of the people who work there because like it's a very diverse shop in in that sense like we have people from all backgrounds uh, work, working where I work which is which is great and it's but it's terrible when we have the one or two assholes who are racist towards them because they can't get something extra for free they can't get a discount so they throw a temper uh, temper tantrum and no, 
start throwing out all these slurs and being mean but it hasn't happened a lot but it has happened at least once or twice and those people they just got fucking gated out of the shop well not gated but they're basically told get out of here or we're calling the guards <laughs> more or less and they turn tail and run with their tail between their legs while shouting profanities and stuff like that but you know it's part and parcel of the job but it shouldn't be but you know people are assholes and and assholes will be assholes ah uh, but either way again like i said very explosive episode very dynamic episode so far i can wait to get into the rest of it god knows when because you know me and my schedule it's not set it's not nothing solid it's nothing um consistent it should be but i'm i keep saying this i'm going to try and be more consistent but what's got me bogged down is trying to come up with new games to play uh that might trend or new games to play that i'd actually like but at the, at the same time youtube is a very fickle place sometimes you have to try and game the algorithm to get your channel to grow which is why i can see why some people like your sure echoes your game your game rights your mk ice and fire that's why they you know use underhanded methods to grow like i don't agree with like going out buying games early like specifically finding retailers to sell you a game early because oh i'm a youtuber i need i need this game early to make money no that's just very dodge i mean and if you rely on that method to grow your channel is eventually going to go into a very downward spiral is how i would describe it because people aren't really coming there for your content more so than you having the content up as early as possible and having as much of that content that they're looking for as possible and that content is the latest releases and some people could say mm, they're jealous but I don't mind waiting for games on day one. I don't mind going onto the PlayStation Store and downloading a game on day one. I don't mind waiting for Amazon to li to deliver me a game, even if it's a day or two later, or even going into the city or buying a game from my place of work. It's just as handy for me. I mean, uh, besides, and there's no retailers in Ireland that will actually sell you games early. They won't do it in any shop because there are repercussions to it oh my god and why did i get into such a rant <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry about that okay but enough talking for me guys you know what to do if you did enjoy this video be sure to give the massive a thumbs up comment favorite share and of course like always i'll see you guys in the next one so until next time see ya